I'll share one because, you know, Brandy's talking about, you, you know, dealing with things. And I think in some people there's, there's triggers or certain things that maybe lead to that. Right. Or mm -hmm. that, that, that cause that cause anger that maybe later that, that, that you, you reflect on in some ways. Sure. Um, I won't go details of the mission, but we, you know, hit a target squad pinned down and we go da danger close. I'm controlling and uh, ACs and, I, and I, we're 40 meters. There is stuff going, blowing over our heads. Right. Right. It's, Hollywood overplays it, but this is one of those scenes like you see on TV. Mm -hmm. um, and then when we go onto the target, there's a house full of women. They're fine. The men, everybody had been taken out. Um, again, we didn't go there to actually make contact. We went there to grab someone. Sure. And they were almost like on the rooftops waiting. And and the the hardest part for me is one, you saw a teenager, but hey, he was he was military age. Right, cross right. Mandalero's AK. He he had been taken out, but uh, there was a there was a baby. Uh, probably, probably six months. Yeah, that was on that target, and you know, had it been with the females, the women would have been, would have been fine, yeah. right? But it's like, hey, if you guys would have chose a different course, right, we wouldn't have done this, and and you know, for me, that's 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 the hardest part for me because at the time I. My son was young, yeah. right? And I remember the anger I felt in seeing that. Like, one, I was res partially responsible, but two, like, hey, why why would you put this person, this little thing in a situation? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Man, that sucks. Yeah. And I, I thought, I used to think the same thing. Like, man, if you, you can get as mad as you want at me about it there's a reason why I'm here. There's a reason why we are knocking on your door. Um, had you not put in, and you know, they, they used to say something to the effect of, well, um, you know, we have women and children here. And I'm like, dude, you, you put these women and children here. Right. I didn't, I didn't put these guys here. Um, so yeah, to your point, that's had they, they made some erroneous choices, I guess you can call it. Um, so, and that's kind of how I get through it too. You know, like not to, not to say, and mine wasn't, you know, we all kind of all go through our own similar circumstances, but, you know, you just have to kind of, it's not really a justification, but that's, that's how you reason through it. You know, you're like, well, look, I didn't know. Yeah. I volunteered to be in the military, but you know, we all have orders and we're, we get, we had to go to this particular place and, you know, these guys kind of make their bed. So they got to lie in it, you know, but mm -hmm. it's unfortunate at any time a child gets any kind of child casualty over there. I just can't, I hate it so much. I hate it that we, if, if we did it or, but I hate it the most that they're, they, they have such little regard for life. Sometimes, you know, they just seems right. like they're just so, you know, so callous and so aloof with all those guys, you know, all their, their family's lives or their, anyway. I haven't told anybody, but uh, I think my, my wife, maybe the, the counselor, but um, the, I had to shoot a kid. Um, he's probably 12 years old, had a gun shooting at us. Um, we were at, went around a corner and it's been the hardest thing I've had to deal with in my life. Um, oh my God. And, um, when it happened, you know, it, you do it and then you realize what you just did, but he was also shooting at us. And then I immediately think of, you know, my kids are not that much different of an age. Yeah. And at the time, um, Harper just grabbed me by, by the back and just looked at me and said, don't think about it. We moved on, moved into the house and continued. He's like, you know, kept me from getting myself killed by freaking out and, and doing it. And so I didn't think about that for, for years. And it wasn't until later. I think that um, when it all, you know, I, when I started having personal problems, I think that's was, was the biggest, the, the biggest thing. And, and, um, when I was doing a, a reassessment for when I finally, you know, said, Hey, I've, I've got a problem. And, and, um, cause I was, I was getting treatments for almost three years before I said anything to VA. Yeah. And, um, and so when I went and get reassessed for the VA, they send you to, to a guy to talk to. And, and, you know, I was not really combative, but I was like, you know, I was told, I was like, listen, um, I know you see a lot of people that come in here that just are looking for, or the the percentage or, or whatever, and um, so 
So we start talking and stuff. And I, I said, I said, I'll be honest with you. I said, I think I'm screwed up in the head. I said, um, because I was asked to kill the kid. I wasn't asked to kill a kid, but I had to kill, I had to shoot a kid. So, yeah. Somebody and, had to. Uh, yeah. It's either you. Well, the thing about it, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't want to dumb it. I don't want to like diminish it in any way, but yeah, I mean, it, it really is him or you guys, you know, I mean, yeah, and, and we can, we can try to rationalize it away, you know, well, okay, maybe, it, yeah, you well, can't, you, well, but you can't like Harper did say the exact same thing or said the right thing. For yeah. sure. And so the me expecting, you know, this dude to be like, Oh, interesting, you know, take a note or something. And he's like, He's like, you're right. He's like, I do see a lot of people coming here trying to say what they need to say to, to get with that. He's like, but I do see some guys coming here with similar situations. He's like, he's like, I will tell you this. Um, he's like, I, I would be more worried about you if you didn't have a problem with having to do that. Right. He's like, because you have a problem, you're, you're, you've got good morals. Like you, you're, you should have a problem with, with having right. to do something like that. Like that should bug you. If that doesn't bug you, then, then, then we've got more problems. Yeah. He's like, so, you know, that, that kind of makes you feel good. You, you see a lot of bad stuff and, and that's why I tell everybody, you know, it doesn't hit you till later. Cause you, you put that shit away, you mm -hmm. know, you, you think, you know, you try not to think about it and, and, you know, you see IDs, you see guys get hurt and, and you having to do, do stuff during, during deployments. And, um, but you put you just follow that shit in the back of your head, and eventually it, it comes up. And yeah. uh, the guys that just can't handle it, and it's you know, so that's probably went way off left field. No, nope, not at all. And I want to say it's it's commendable that both you guys, and I I consider it bravery. I consider it just as brave as having you know having to drop on you know a children or having to shoot a kid it's just as brave to say it like this out loud because that, that not only does it probably alleviates a little bit of um, uh, stress on you guys, a little bit of bad feeling. It, it relieves that kind of pressure on you guys, but also it kind of gives other people a pass to say it, you know, other guys have been harboring that those feelings of, you know, that they did something horrible um, and they don't want to tell anybody because they feel bad about it. You guys having the courage to say that kind of stuff gives those guys it, it makes it okay for other people to do it and i think that if more people would do this i think it would be i think there'd be a lot less issues you know i mean we talk about you know guys you know 22 dudes a day um and that kind of thing i think there'd be less of that if you know if they could just hear guys like you say look it happens to all of us we all kind of get we all go through these uh, times that are stressful on us or they are at, i mean frankly they're horrible but um if we can just talk about it and deal with it and accept it, you know, kind of like you guys did. I think, I think we'd be, I think a lot more people would, you know, not make that choice. You know what I mean? Yeah. That, that, uh, you know. I, I totally agree. It's um, like, it's, it's kind of weird. The, I, I kind of wanted to bring that up at, during one of these things. And, and when, when Chaz brought that up, I was, I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm glad he brought that up. Um, I was, I was texting him the other night that I was, and I was even told my brother, I'm like, Hey, have you, have you checked in on Chaz lately? Cause you know, I, I kind of, I was, I was always, I always kind of worried, worried about him. And, and, and I was you know, just, just reminded him, I'm like, you know what? Um, he's probably one of my oldest friends, at least somebody I've known in, in my life. And we shared a lot of, a lot of similar, similar stuff. And it's for sure. Uh, and it's, it's, it's good to have that, to share some of the similar situations and stuff and it's you know because we you know we know each other a long time and, and it's for him to have to be able to, to bring that up and and because i know it's, it's shitty to see dude it's I, I know exactly what you went through and i know exactly what you were thinking yeah and, and it's I, I, I mean whether it be a rifle or a an a10 or, a, or an ac-130 i mean it's still a, a child that was put in a, a situation they didn't want to be in that they had no choice over and, and you yeah. guys had to make that tough decision sucks but yeah. uh but you know I'm, I'm glad we're both here to, to to speak about it and then talk about stupid shit too <laughs> yeah too. Hey, hey, you know brandy one yeah you, you you said that one for me right thanks for being vulnerable and, and saying that right you said very only a couple people had heard that before i didn't know 
Um, but if it helps anybody else out there, right, to hear the story, to hear some of the things, right, that, that, that you're dealing with that others go through, um, just because they don't talk about it, right, doesn't mean they're not harboring something. Sure. Right? So it, it's key for everybody, you know, if, if you're facing something, right, reach out. I think we're yeah. all very tight knit. Um, I know quite a few guys that struggle and Hey, reach out, talk to somebody, reach out, get help, talk to a brother out there. And that's the key. Right. And I well, think like a, for me, yeah. if, being unplugged and disconnected, I find myself getting more just, I'm becoming that grumpy old guy. <laughs> You're right. You get, you, you just get angry. And like the, what I hate most, you hear like when I go out to public and public's out there, right. I get angry. I don't right, right. Get people. Um, yeah. And I think it's just, it, it's just talking through it. JD, I, I appreciate the opportunity to be on your show. Hey, man. Um, you know, and, and, and to get out here and, and, and reconnect with you guys. And um, I, I think I needed that. And I, I'm sure there's plenty out there that do.